This is a photo op. This is a win-win for both politicians, right? I think that's a uh, safe way to say, put it. I don't think President Obama has ever been happier to see a Republican. You just look at them. They, they're playing f football together. They're at the carnival. They're out there in the rain. I think they both have fleeces right? on, yeah. right? <laughs> is, it, is, that, is, that a white, is that a presidential fleece? I've never seen the fleece. Oh, there's the throw. Uh, look, it was Christie, though, who was really trying to put the post-partisan feel on all of us. Everybody came together. Republicans, Democrats, Independents, we all came together because New Jersey is more important and our citizens' lives are more important than any kind of politics at all. Clearly the White House wanted to change the subject from some of the scandal talk that's been in Washington, D.C. There had been an advantage this week because Congress is out of town. So whatever the president focuses on this week, he can at least control it a little better. You know, the bully pulpit isn't as powerful as people make it seem, but at least you put in travel, you land the plane somewhere, especially in local media market. This is going to shock you, but I'm going to call New York a local media market. They can dominate coverage. All right. Now, what about Chris Christie? I mean, as you said, he was leaning hard on this bipartisan tone. I mean, this can only be good for his career. Absolutely. Look at the negative. Negatives when they do internal polling in Christie camp. What are the negatives? Well, he's too abrasive. He's too, you know, he's too harsh. Well, he softened every single one of those every time he goes out with the president. I mean, there's been a lot of criticism about Christie among hardcore Republicans. Not all, but hardcore Republicans for his embrace of the president, of President Obama. There's been some criticism of the president for helping out Christie because it's going to make his election that much easier. All right, I want to switch topics because you broke some news for us earlier about a new member of the Council of Economic Advisors. Yeah. Who is it? Well, it will be Jason Furman when the president, this is according to people familiar with the matter, Jason Furman uh, when the president makes this announcement Alan, uh, later this summer. Alan Kruger will head back to Princeton. Look, the CEA chairman has always been sort of a wonky, nerdy academic, someone who's a tenured track physician. Jason Furman doesn't fit in that mold. He's a Washington policy guy. He's been in Washington longer. He's been in academia. He knows the ins and outs, the personality, the right of the West Wing. If you're looking for the CEA to be more forceful in term two of Obama, putting someone like Furman in that position, it certainly does it. It makes it less sort of academic and nerdy. It makes it more practical and policy-wise. You can argue both ways on whether or not that's a good idea, but that's the direction the president's heading in.